Hey guys, so today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Apple.com. So right now, what we're going to do is purchase some stuff, but using your student discount. What does that mean? We have to go into this website. So as you guys can see, just Google right now, apple.ca.student or apple.com student, and you're going to see this, Apple Educational Pricing. So just tap right there to open that up. Once you open up that website, how do you know you're under the student thing? Well, on the top left hand side, it should say Apple for higher education. Now, this doesn't apply with everything in the Apple website. With some things, although you're a student, you might not get a discount. So there's only a few things that you could get a discount and some of them are highlighted right here. So if you scroll down, you're going to see what you could get a discount on and that would be it. So it does depend what you're interested in, but on top of here, you can see exactly everything that you could get a discount on right now. So we're going to purchase something with that discount so you guys can see. So for example, we roll into iPad and we're going to choose the latest iPad for now. Let me just go into iPad Pro. We're going to click on the top right hand side where it says buy. So right away, you're going to notice the price difference and it isn't that huge, but it is a price difference. So for example, the 12.9 that I can notice right away, I know that the normal price is 1,399 and right now for student is this right here. So you're saving about a hundred bucks or so. Now, before I add this to my bag or anything, I would highly suggest to create an Apple account. You can do that on the top right hand corner off your screen. You're going to see this bag, just tap on the bag and then you're going to see that it's empty for now. But right here, we can just go and sign in. We can go to account as well. If you don't have an Apple account, just create one right now. It's going to save you a lot of time anyways, because once you sign into your new iPad, new iPhone, whatever you're buying, then you're going to have an Apple ID already. So that's great. All you need is your email. It doesn't have to be an Apple email. It can be Gmail, Hotmail, anything, Yahoo. And from there, just create that sign in. So once you click there, you will get this. And if you don't have an Apple ID on the bottom, you're going to see don't have an Apple ID. Just create one now. Or if you have one, just sign in right now. So I'm just going to take you here so you guys can see what's in there. So right here, you can create an Apple ID. All you have to fill up is your first name, last name, country, email, create a password. Don't use the same password that you use for email. Just create a new one for Apple, then put in text message or phone call. I would use text message to verify everything. And that would be kind of your 2FA. So that way you can keep your account really safe. If you keep scrolling down, you're going to see all of this. Just type in the characters that you see down there. Obviously, you're going to see something different than me. And on the bottom, just click on continue. Anyways, by this point, hopefully you guys signed in or else we will have to sign in at the last part, which is exactly what I want to do. So right now we're going to select this iPad, for example. I do like the space gray more than the other one. So I'm going to keep that one. 128 gigs for me personally is good enough. I'm going to choose Wi-Fi because I don't really need to put a SIM card in there. I, I'm just not going to do that. It doesn't make sense to me. I can just share my internet from my phone. And right here, no engravings. I don't like engraving. You can add the Apple Pencil right now. However, you can do that later on too, by the way. And by the way, do not get the Apple Pencil first generation. That will not work with this iPad. First generation works with other iPads and the second generation works with other set of iPads. So make sure you're getting the right Apple Pencil for you if you want an Apple Pencil. It's definitely not a need or a want. In this case, we have keyboard. You could add a keyboard if you're going to treat this more like a laptop, although it doesn't replace a laptop, although it's very powerful, just in case. So they've been saying that this will replace a laptop from the start and it still doesn't. Anyways, we're just going to add this to our bag and then we're going to go and review our bags. Right now it's being added to our bag. There's other stuff down here that you may want to check out, such as a case. It's very important. Down here below, you're going to also see other adapters that you might need might not need depends so check those out as well however for me i don't really need anything else i can just review my bag and right now it should tell me my total shipping's always free you can add apple care at this point which is only 159 dollars. that's pretty much adding just one more year of warranty into your ipad plus it does protect you from some drops it's not as good as it was before I want to mention that a few years ago, you didn't have to purchase anything called Apple Care. They would just fix your iPad if anything happened under the year warranty without adding anything extra. That was years ago. It doesn't happen anymore. So right here, if you put your postal code, you can find out when you're going to get it. It will ship in one business day, depending where you are. So for some of you, it could take weeks. 
Right now we're gonna put in a postcode, so for an example, so you guys can see. So let's just put a postcode and see how long it would take to get it by then. So right now it is telling me if I order, I would get it by December the 1st. So it's gonna take a few days, but it's right before Christmas, so that's not bad. Or you can pick it up the same day and you can and it tells you where to pick it up, where it's available. So right now it's telling me Fairview. I could choose other locations too. And if I keep scrolling down, I'm gonna see again how much would shipping be if I want it to be shipped. And in this case, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I might as well wait. And you can go in head and check out. So this option right here to check out, you're just gonna put your credit card. Now, if you guys have Apple Pay set up, then you can go ahead and do it with Apple Pay. It's a bit faster. You don't have to put in a credit card since that's already linked to your iCloud account. So it is really your choice. I'm gonna show you both. So let's say you go into checkout. You don't have anything to do with Apple yet. Well, it's still gonna ask you to sign in if you haven't done so right now. So right now would be the point where you sign in. Do not check out as a guest. You don't wanna do that, trust me. If you wanna track everything, keep everything under one account, just create an account. Even if this is a gift for somebody else and you don't like Apple yourself, you're not gonna get anything Apple, I would still create an account. That way you can keep track of everything. So then it's gonna take you to this page where you can choose what you would like. You can pick it up, $13, or you can go on and just have it shipped to your house directly and that's free. So I'm gonna actually select that, just makes sense. Go on to continue shipping address. Now if you created an account, everything should be here already. So just fill up your address if it's not already there and put in your phone number. You do want your phone number there. So again, at this point, it's gonna ask you if you wanna play by credit card or Apple Pay. If you choose credit card, just be ready to put your credit card information and then you're just gonna review your order. Now if you guys have Apple Pay, it's the same thing, but it's a little bit faster because you don't have to put anything in. So right now that we made our selection, let's just click on review your order. Once you're looking at your order, I do wanna mention this. Right now what I'm gonna do is pay with Apple Pay, same thing, credit card, and payment details. This is where you guys can change stuff. So if you do wanna change your mind, go ahead and change it right here. We're gonna go ahead and click right here on the left-hand side by clicking this checkbox. You do have to accept their terms and conditions. Then on the bottom, you're gonna see continue with Apple Pay or just your credit card. So you just continue on. If you're paying this with Apple Pay, you will get a notification on your phone where you have to double tap on the side in order to confirm that purchase. Just like you make any other payment, that's the way that you would do it. Again, it's just gonna tell you to go to your phone double tap to accept the payment, and then you're done. If you did it with credit card, then same thing, it's just gonna take you here. You might have to verify, depending on which credit card you're using, it might take you to an extra page. But at this point, right here, it should tell you when it's gonna deliver. Plus on the top, it's gonna show your order number and your email, which I'm not showing you right now on purpose, but that's because you guys are gonna have your own order number and your own email. So make sure to take a screenshot of this last page, which has your order number. As for this video goes, that's it. That's how you guys can purchase anything using your educational pricing. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.